stretch of I-470 I in Belmont County has seen a significant increase in accidents in the last year. Now officials are looking to find out what's causing them. It's where we begin this edition of News 9 Live at 5. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jamie Baker. News 9's Jesse Kane takes a look at the numbers. A couple of weeks ago, the Ohio Department of Transportation put up several caution signs on Interstate 470 following a trend of crashes. The road was resurfaced last year, and according to the Ohio State Highway Patrol, from the beginning of the project in July 2023 to May of this year, there were 76 accidents from milepost 0 to 2. 53 of those occurred on wet pavement, 17 were reported on dry conditions, and 6 took place in snowy conditions. The previous year in that same stretch, there were 7 total accidents. ODOT is looking into the cause. Our pavement engineering team has been out at this location and with that they have not only looked at the pavement but they have utilized a uh, specialized tool that we have it's a skid resistance uh, machine that they have that can read the you know the friction of the road the signs caution drivers to slow down and that the surface may be slippery when wet Burrell believes speed is also a factor in the number of accidents. The state patrol has stopped more than 600 vehicles and given out 530 tickets since last July. While the overall number of accidents has increased by 900%, the leading factor is still wet conditions. Was there anything put on the surface that could lead to this? No, there is nothing out of the normal that was done on this project uh, with the materials. You know, one thing that they've looked at is um, there's times that the oil that is in the asphalt can reach the surface and cause for slick conditions, but um, we have not seen any of that. Uh, another thing is, is that the stone and material that's in the asphalt uh, can polish, which can create a slick condition as well, and we're not seeing that either. ODOT has yet to identify a problem, but it has funding secured to fix the road. They hope to act in the coming weeks. We're not going to be able to tell what could possibly be going on with the road until that asphalt is actually removed from the roadway. Officials advise drivers to use caution and lower their speeds. Reporting from the Belmont County Content Center, I'm Jesse Kane for News 9. I'm Gianna Dupre. Thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch and please take some time to subscribe to our channel.